guys welcome to CV creation youtube channel uh, this is shivakuma and today we are going to see how to fill the form 15g form so earlier i have done many videos so compared to that and this you can see there will be a lot of difference okay so that's why i'm doing a updated video so let's get started guys when you are going to apply for the pf final claim so you have to upload form 15g why because to save the tax deduction your savings amount from your savings amount so first you have to up, update pan card and pan card verification is not required now just update under the kyc and get approved by your employer okay it's digitally need to approve that's enough okay after selecting form 19 here you are it will ask you to upload form 15g so here you need to upload form 15g to save the additional 10 percent tax so if you updated pan card also still they will deduct 10 percent to save that 10 percent you have to upload form 15g that is mandatory otherwise they will reject the claim and guys here you can see that form is filled recently i have filled this form for one of my viewers in my youtube channel this is one of my subscribers okay so it is approved and it is very clear and what and all need to be filled and what is resident what is the section 192 so those things if you want to know i will tell you here so let's uh, see the first what and all need to be filled so when i zoom it here you can see that the name of the sse sse is nothing but a person who pays the tax to the income de income tax department so as per the income tax it will, uh, the person will be called as SSE. Okay, so name you have to write your name and the PAN card of the SSE. So you have to write your PAN card and the status is individual. Individual months is nothing but you have a single and you are the only one member for the EPFO. So you have to write always individual. There will be no change in this. Okay, there will be separate or uh, HEF and private uh, like that will be the partnership form and all. So that and all will not come under here. So you just leave that all topic. Just use mention status is individual. That's more than enough. And the previous year. So previous year means here you have to write the previous financial year. The financial year start from the 1st of April and ends with the 31st or 30, 31st March and 2000 like here. Okay. So you have to mention like that. Today is uh, 27 9 2020. I'm recording this video. So as per this date, if you're going to apply, so the previous financial year will come like 2019 and 20 only. Okay. And uh, residential status. So resident status means here what is resident means a person who lives somewhere else in a country permanently or on a long basis. The person means who's born and living in a particular country for a longer period. The person called as resident. The person who uh, traveled from different countries, like a uh, few a few days he will stay in one country and a few days he will stay in another country. He, he used to travel. So for that, those people uh, will call as a non-resident. Okay. And the person who come from abroad means from uh, another country and works here. That person also called as non-resident is not from uh, basically from our country okay that's its meaning and the second um, second not uh, next thing is the flat number door number you, have, you know everything does how to fill so flat number or uh, your building number whatever you have to fill it here okay flat door block number next thing is the premises where you live is nothing but your area name you have to mention or locality like that here also it will be the same will be come and the ninth point also okay and the road street line you have to mention and town and the district or city where you live and the state which belongs you means where do you stay and the pin code and yeah the 14th point you have to write your mobile number you can write any number it belongs to you if it is different whether should i update here the number which 
is linked to PAN card or other card or your account, don't get confusion. Just fill it out any of your number. Okay. Next 15th point is whether you have assessed the tax under income tax 1961. Always click no. If those who are paying the tax, they those people need to take S yes and they have to provide the income tax details here. Okay, here just fill out no. Most of the people are, are not paying the tax, I think so. If they are paying, means they will get to know what and all need to be filled. So the second page will come, they have to fill that. Okay, I will explain you in next. Okay, so next thing is uh, 18 point you have to fill. Ignore this uh, 16 and 17. So details of uh, Form 15G, whether you have filed uh, previously or previous year, if any. So if you have filed you just click yes or if not filed then click n bar a not applicable this means not available or not applicable not just fill i as no okay that if you have filled then you have to mention here how many numbers of form 15g you have filed okay and uh, yeah when you come to the bottom you can see here here you have to mention the identification number relevant to the investment act so you have you have a savings in your pf accounts so you have to mention here your un account number so un number only you have to mention not pf number pf number is getting changed by one company to another company when you change so here you have to mention your un number and the nature of income so you are going to apply to claim your pf amount the savings amount so here you have to mention pf withdrawal the section is section uh, is you have to mention that section under which tax is deductible so in which uh, section your amount going to deduct the tax means you are you are going to deduct to save that deduction you are filing so that deduction section you have to write here that is section 192a so the section 192a introduced by the income tax for Employees Provident Fund and Miscellaneous Act 1952 to promote uh, savings uh, post retirement of an employee. So this will be uh, savings for your employee. So you have to mention this section only for while you are claiming PF amount. And the last thing is uh, amount of income. So whatever you are going to claim the form PA, total PF and pension amount you have to mention here. Okay. So both calculate and mention here whatever you you have a pa in a passbook, okay PF passbook, that amount and do sign and write your name and here you can see that a previous year ending on. So as per today, when I consider 27 September 2020, so my previous year ends with 31st March 2020, okay that's ended. That is financial year. Don't consider the calendar year okay apart from karma students will be having a doubt so uh, why uh, 31st uh, march 2020 is the ending year that is 31st december right like that they will think so as per the income tax acts the financial year end with 31st march and start with 1st of april of every year okay guys so the relevant assessment year assessment year so 31st going to end in 31st uh, march 2021 so assessment year nothing but a current financial year so start with 31st march 2020 and ends with 31st march 2021 okay the same thing it will be continued and the last you have to sign and write your place and write the date of you are going to apply so this one page is more than enough okay i hope everything pin to pin points i have explained and i will give you the form which uh empty form here i will provide the link to download i will provide as well as this filled form also you just refer this uh, page this uh, form 15g filled and write an empty pay uh, empty form in your details okay i will provide you the both link in the description download it and fill it if you have any doubts comments in the video comment section Okay, most of the people comment uh, for my YouTube um, uh, for my previous uh, videos like what is the date I have to mention here previous year what is the previous ending years are 
and what is the assessment year i have to mention so most of the people common question they will ask this so i have explained everything here and if you find this video is useful please guys share this video and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and please share this video those who are going to apply for the pf ask them to fill this form to save the 10 percent tax reduction on their pf amount okay and thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.